In this video, we're just going to have a look at building a quick 404 search page in Oxygen. So the way that that works is when somebody searches for something that isn't on the website, they'll be redirected to a page. And in this case, we've just said, oops, something went wrong. Try a new search or check out our latest products. So the way that that works is if I enter any page that I know isn't on this website, it'll be redirected to this page. So we'll just check that again. So I'm here on features and under features, I'm looking for uh, no page. And I'm redirected then back to this page. Oops, something went wrong. Try a new search. We'll check out our latest products. So to build something like this is really simple. And even to find a, a nice little picture just to add a bit of um, interest to the page. So basically then to find the image, I just went along to Pixabay and did a search for a search, the word search. And we found this icon over here, which I then downloaded. And that was the icon that was used. Then we inserted the standard WooCommerce search a heading and then we just built a quick custom query then to display these products so to see that inside oxygen first thing i'm going to do is i'm just going to open the admin here in a new tab so you can see so on the 404 page that we created we we go the standard main as the header and footer but then we don't select anything under singular or archive and then under other we go and have a look for the 404 and we tick that. Now we've effectively then ensure that this is going to be the template used on the 404 page. On the actual page, what we did, and what I'm going to do then is I'm going to delete this page and we're just going to build it from scratch. So just to give you a quick idea of how to put this all together. So here we have the sec section. I'm going to delete that and then I'm going to add a new section. And in that section, I'm going to add a set of columns and we're going to go with more column space on the left than the right underneath that i'm going to add the search so i'm going to go over here to uh, wordpress i'm going to head over to widgets and i'm going to look for product search there's the product search so now you'll see that it's put it inside the column so i'm just going to drag that outside the column and then we drag that up. So now we have the column, the divs, and then we have the product search. And then under that product search, I'm going to add another div. Add, and let's just head back here to basics. And I'm going to add the div. And that div, I'm going to give a width of 100%. And then inside that div, I'm going to add a title. Let's go to a heading, make that h two font size will make 35 the text color we're going to change it up a bit so let's make it that color and then what we're going to do is just change the font weight then down to 500 and that div we're just going to center the item and then in this div over here we're going to add a heading as well so what i'm going to do is just duplicate that one and drag it in and over here, we're going to add the image. So let's add that image. So I've already uploaded it to my library. So what I'm going to do then is just head over to um, browse and I'm going to select the image. So there we've selected the image. And what I'm also going to do now is change the width of the column here. And let's make that 80, no, a little bit small. Let's make it 70. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Then what I'm going to do is edit this headline and uh, we'll just put in some text. Oops. Um, something went wrong. And um, uh, try searching. Oh, let's try a new search and this block here we're going to align to the right and then we're just going to vertical align that in the middle so oops something went wrong try a new search 
and then here we complete that sentence and here we could say um, or check out check out our latest products so there we have the basic layout for the page that we're going to be using and the other thing that we want to do is under that product search we just want to add a bit of margin so let's make that 20 under the product here let's also do just a little bit of margin there right so oops some uh, let's just change the spelling there so oops something went wrong try a new search or check out our latest products and now what we need to do is add a repeater to this element so we'll go along to helpers and we're then going to add a repeater and inside that repeater we know that we're going to have a series of columns of products so we'll do the horizontal layout and we'll only have four products we won't need to worry about the multi-line and we'll just make sure that each of those divs is stretched to the same height then I'm going to head back and what I'm going to do before I do the query is I'm just going to add the basics here so I'm going to add an image so that's going to be the product image so that we'll use the data there which will be the featured image and we'll just go with large and then I'm going to underneath that image add a title so let's have a look here under basics let's go to the headings and we'll also just make let's make that an h3 the font size there of 18 and what we'll do is we'll leave the font weight then down to that and what we'll do now is that particular um, heading we are going to uh, make that some dynamic text now you'll see here inside oxygen that nothing's been rendered for some reason but that's fine because what I can do then is under that image I'm going to go add I'm going to head over to WordPress dynamic data title text color and yeah we'll give it that text color why not the font size there will be 18 and the font weight will be 500 so that will take care of the post title then what I'm also going to do now is wrap this image in a link and I'm just going to make that link the data and link that to the permalink so the image will also link to the um, to the post now we need to actually go in and set up the repeater so we can get the query going and actually have the data displayed so I'm going to head over into advanced and I'm just going to do it here in the advanced query because it's faster so we'll go post underscore type and now you'll see that the data tab hasn't appeared here inside my advanced query so don't worry we save the page and now what we're going to do is we're going to refresh oxygen and then you'll see that that element returns to oxygen I'm not sure what causes that now if I head over here to the page not found page and we enter no page you'll see that it's coming up and everything's a little bit mixed up here and we need to just go in and fix up the query so that we get the right query showing here with the right items and that will happen now when oxygen reloads and I'm gonna head over to the structure panel and let's just head down here to the repeater head over to the query edit the query and now post underscore type and now we can add the value product we'll add that parameter the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to do post per page because we know we're only going to have four and we know that we don't want any pagination so no found rows and we'll just make set that value to true and then in the next parameter we're going to have a look at uh, order by and because we want the latest product so we're going to add value order by uh, date and add the parameter and the parameter will be order and that'll be descending so there we've set up our query and I'm going to save that and I'm going to apply the query parameters 
and you'll see that it's showing so let's go and have a look at that on the front page now so here we are on the front page and there we go so there we have our products but you'll see everything's all over the show and we needed a little bit more formatted than that so that's what we're going to do now now you'll see that inside the um, oxygen here it makes absolutely no sense but we don't need to see what it's doing because we can set it up in spite of that so we're going to set the text formatting to centered now what we want to do is we actually want to create these images and align them so that the headings are always in a straight line and the images appear in the center of the space because they're all different sizes so in order to make that happen what I'm going to do now is I'm going to head over here to the link wrapper we created for the image and I'm just going to go to size and spacing and I'm going to give that a maximum height of 250 pixels and set the height to 100% and then what I'm going to do is head over to layout and we are going to set the overflow to hidden and what I'm also going to do now is here is set as you can see we're going to center the content and align it in the middle so that's going to ensure that our images are all uh, centered in that space and the last thing I need to do is just add some padding around that div the main div and that will just make sure that there's a separation between the items so we save that head over to the website refresh and now you can see that we have our various items on the page and even if there's a different sized image it's all not always nicely spaced and I can click anywhere in that space now and of course I can navigate to the post so that's looking good now the next thing that I want to do is head over here and I'm just gonna check the width of that div I want to make sure because I haven't set the width you'll see here that the divs are different widths because of the images so just to make sure that they are all the same we set that to 25% head over and now you'll see it's neatly displayed now if you're in oxygen here for example and it's not working just something that might work if you just have the one row is just to anyway indicate allow multi-line but in this case there's um, something not loading and not much I can do about that so that's looking good and now what we'll want to do is just check and see what this looks like in the mobile view so let's just have a look at that in mobile and you'll see it's not working at all in mobile view so we're going to just fix that so the first thing I'm going to do here is in my columns I'm going to head down to less than 768 and maybe what I want to do is because of the writing the search and and this heading I want to make sure that they connect it so I actually want this image above so what I'm going to do is say reverse column order less than 768 and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change the width and height because this image is far too big now. So let's set that to 200 and the height to auto. And then what I'm going to do is center that image inside that div. Uh, or maybe I want to put it on the right. And what I'm going to do here now is make the font size a little bit smaller. So let's change that down to something like that. And in this case, uh, the typography there I'm going to center that and I'm going to change the line height to oh, something went wrong and try a new search or and here we'll make that text slightly bigger and the font weight we'll leave as it is and then the typography will set the line height there to 1.3 and then what we need to do in the repeater is make sure that the layout now is in the vertical and we must also then change the width of that diff to 100%. So that should take care of that. So let's go and have a look at our page. And now you'll see that we have, oops, something went wrong. And it's still not looking great. So we just need to do some minor styling fixes there. So the first thing I'm going to do is for my section, I'm going to change that to 20. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to center the image and I'm just going to make it slightly bigger and 
I think that will have that looking a lot better. So that's what we had. And now I'm just going to refresh. And oops, something went wrong. Try a new search. And maybe what we want to do is just make that text size slightly smaller so that when we're in the smaller screen view, that um, that only fills the one row. So there we go. Oops, something went wrong. Try a new search. And then in the normal view. Right, so there we have it. There we've set up a an adjusted our, oops, something went wrong. Try a new search. And we can have a look at it there. And then the other thing that I'd like to do in the mobile view is just head over to my section. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the size and the padding on the sides to zero. Um, then what I'm going to do is make sure that in the column here, everything is centered. And what I'm going to do here, because the search is now right up against the side of the page, I just want to give it some padding on the side to bring it in. And maybe what I want to do is make that font size slightly bigger. So what we'll do now is we'll just make that 24. And then finally, in the smallest size, we can actually just increase that font size. Uh, let's just, that's a little bit big. So there we go, at 19. We'll save that. And there we have our new page. So here we are in Oxygen. Oh, something went wrong. Try a new search. You can search for products or check out our latest products. And that's just a very quick example of how to build a 404 page and just to include an image to make it a little bit more interesting. If you're not happy with the layout size there, I do think maybe this is too much spacing. I'm just going to drag that out. And there we have our search page for the 404 error. So I hope you enjoyed watching that video. Thank you for watching.